good morning from sunny Southern California where it's a balmy 41 degrees out this morning. Unbelievable. It doesn't get cold this often, every now and then, but this is just about as cold as it gets in Southern California, 41 degrees, at least in the Los Angeles area. This is, this is really cold, so that's about five degrees Celsius, something like that. And uh, I am smoking in my Altenach Meerschaum billiard. And what I'm smoking will be the occasion for today's video. Yesterday, my consolation prize came in the mail. Sutlick mixture number 79 from Sergeant Savinelli for participating in the Sherlock Holmes giveaway contest. Thank you very much, Sergeant Savinelli. Let me read you the nice note that he sent. Todd, thank you for joining me and for being a gracious Watson in my Sherlock Holmes Super Sleuth Contest. Here is your share of the Persian slipper. This is where uh, Holmes kept all of his tobacco in his Persian slipper. Must have been very dry. Can't wait to see your video. Keep in touch, brother. Merry Christmas and a very happy, healthy New Year. All the best, Sergeant Savinelli. All right. So... I thought what I would do, since it's illegal to kill crows, and probably just as illegal to eat them, and I have no appetite for crow, either literally or figuratively, but I realize I gotta do something. Well, just as the contest was the occasion for me making my first video, unplanned, unprepared, so, uh, this gift from Sergeant Savinelli will become the occasion for me doing my first tobacco review. Got my coffee here. So, One of the first things that I noticed in the YTPC is the great number of tobacco reviews, which makes a lot of sense. And I gotta be honest with you, a lot of times I'm smoking my pipe or I'm experiencing the tobacco that's being reviewed and I don't pick out 90% of the things that other people seem to be experiencing. I think I just have a either a very undereducated palate or perhaps I don't have a very sensitive palate or both. And so uh, today I thought I would at least try and give you my honest assessment of the Sutliff mixture number 79, which I'm smoking right now. I looked it up on tobaccoreviews.com to get a sense of its contents. It's a burly. It's ribbon cut. I noticed that. Let me show you the ribbon. There, I hope you can see that. Twist it more into the light. So there's some, obviously it looks like 
dark Cavendish burly and a really strong odor or note of chocolate but a kind of I don't want to say medicinal chocolate um, maybe even like a, a chocolate encased with some alcohol or something like that kind of an alcohol chocolate There's a reason I'm smoking it in my Meerschaum. Meerschaum is kind of my go-to pipe when I get a new mixture and I want to get a real precise smoke uh, that it can give you. There's no ghosting in a, in a Meerschaum. You really get the entire flavor of whatever it is you're smoking in it. From what I gather, uh, Burley produces a lot of smoke, which I don't know if this is more than usual or not. It's a very mellow smoke. I do get a little, a little chocolate kind of a chocolatey flavor. But as an aromatic, it's very mild. I mean, it has a very mild sense to it. Not really picking up much of a room note, but then again, you know, I still have a little bit of a cold, so it may not be so accurate. You know, the other thing that occurs to me is that I'm smoking this in a filtered pipe. Although my experience has been many times forgetting to put the filter in with a blend that I am familiar with, I don't notice any difference at all in terms of taste or flavor. It doesn't usually get to be a marked difference until I get towards the bottom of the bowl. It's easier for me to smoke it all the way down to gray ash with a filter than without. And I picked up a tip from Mutton Chop Piper who recommended smoking it down, tamping it down, till you're about a third of the way from the bottom of the bowl. Then to take your check tool or whatever you're using and just kind of loosen the, the top layer of ash and dump it out, light your pipe one more time, you will not get that blast of that kind of ash that mixes with the tobacco that you kind of can get in your mouth. Um, filter helps with that, but it definitely is a, a burning kind of taste and not really the tobacco when you get down that low. So I tried it and the technique works quite well. So you burn it down to about two thirds and then there's a third remaining. You just loosen the ash on the top, you tap it out, and then you relight your pipe. He recommends not lighting it again and I have to say I think I would agree with him on that. You don't want to continually light and light and light, otherwise you just burn the hell out of the the, uh, the tobacco and you don't really get what it is you're looking for, that nice white pile of ash at the bottom. This is a very pleasant smoke. This is the tobacco I should have had when I first started smoking a pipe. I told you about that in the last video and I really think that this would have saved me from myself in that first bowl. I 
At any rate, thank you very much, Sergeant Savinelli. I appreciate your consideration and kindness, and I look forward to your next uh, contest, whenever that may be. Uh, I wish everyone who's tuned in a very, very happy holiday. And uh, for those of you celebrating Christmas, a blessed Christmas. And uh, we'll catch up with you uh, hopefully before the new year. All right? Take care. Bye-bye.